Hey guys, haven't done a video in a while. Just picked up this 2014 Frontier Pro 4X. So, I noticed looking under the truck, I have a common axle seal leak from not having this mod modification done. So I looked into it, I found out a cheaper way to do it than to order some of the parts kits. So I started here with a 1 8 by, I believe, 28 um, threads per inch fitting from Advanced Auto, which I'll link in the description below. And I ran it to quarter fuel line from Lowe's, which was eight bucks for 10 feet. And as you can see, my routing, I left some slack in here Sorry, the bugs are getting in. Left some slack in here in case the suspension travel were to cause something to bind up or anything. I wanted to leave a little slack up here. I ran it up under this hard line, or whatever this brake line here, which is kind of hard to tell. There's a, This line's a hard line. I ran it up through there and ran it back to above the exhaust hanger here which I zip tied it to the exhaust hanger. I might end up getting some stronger zip ties and redoing this down the road, but I'm sure it'll be fine for now. I gotta clip that. But I ran it up under the frame rail here and I zip tied it again up to this. There's two of these, which I'm guessing go to wiring harness, but I just cut them out. Or not cut them out, but I used them because uh, this truck has a topper on it, so not all the wiring is placed in like this. So I just utilize that. Ran it up over the frame, and then you can see here's my bumper and the fender, rear fender. So it runs right up here. I zip tied it to the wiring up above, and I will go back up top and show you how I have it rotted above. One thing I wanted to go over before jumping up top, these fittings, the factory breather fitting is a 1 8 by 27 threads per inch fitting, I believe. And the one I picked up from Auto, or Advanced Auto is a 1 8 by 28 threads per inch fitting. So when removing the old one and installing the new one, the new one might be a little hard to thread in at first it tends to get a bit easier, but um, if it threads in tough, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, the other thing is I didn't put any Teflon on my fitting. Some people said they would do that to keep moisture out or um, anything from contaminating in there, but I just ran it. I raw dogged it and um, think it'll work all right but I want to go over that so here I ran it through if you can see I zip tied it to the wiring harness that runs to the tail light I put on a quarter inch lawnmower fuel filter which flows in both directions um, that's not really gonna stop any tiny dust particles or dirt particles or whatever but you know it'll work for now I'll check on it down the road, but uh, this just tucks in behind the tail light here, and you can see the housing here, it runs right up in there. So, uh, all the materials I used this, this is the, the eighth inch. And PTM fitting I got at Advanced Auto. This was six dollars. If you can see, here's the different part numbers for other brands. I guess Dorman doesn't have one. Here's the hose I used from Lowe's. That round, ten feet long, quarter inch inner diameter, rubber fuel hose. As you can see, I mean, <clears throat> it's low pressure hose, and that doesn't really matter. It's just a breather line. Um, 
you might be able to find a higher quality, more durable hose if you care. Uh, if this hose rots away or whatever, I'll just end up redoing it down the road. But for eight bucks and 10 feet of hose with some left over, I figured that was a better deal. Um, all you gotta remove is these 10 millimeters that go in the headlight, which just pulls out straight back. Be careful when you're pulling it out to not snap off any clips or anything like this guy. Looks like that might be the only one, but I removed the bulbs from the assembly so I could have more room to work. But yeah, um, if you have any questions on my routing or anything, let me know below and any suggestions as well to how I could improve this. But uh, I think that'll work for now. Appreciate you watching and hopefully this can help. So have a good one.